Sage Forsaken here, and of course, we're back. Um, we're looking at JCPenney's. There's not any great big sales at JCPenney's that I'm aware of right now. Um, I did look at the... I focus mostly on retro stuff and action figures. So if you go to JCPenney's and see some cool stuff that you think, hey, I should have covered, let me know. But I didn't. This is the stuff I covered. The Ghostbusters Ecto-1 comes with some cool uh, accessories. It uh, looks cool. Uh, I really dug it. I also like the fact that the same figures can also fight the State Puff Marshmallow Man. Um, you know, crossing the streams and everything. So uh, I think that, you know, in general, the Playmobil toy line, it looks pretty cool. Uh, check it out if you're interested in Ghostbuster stuff. Don't miss out because these are in JCPenney's right now. And if the Marvel Legends are any indication, they're not jacking the price up to get you in the store. You know, it's not like Toys R Us where they're like, we know you're a collector, you'll pay five extra dollars or some junk. These Marvel Legends were only $20. Yes, they're about six months old, but I think that's because not many people go to JCPenney's to shop for toys. I bought the Cyclops, but they had every other figure you could also get. Uh, to complete the Marvel Legends X-Men line that came out that, uh, six months ago or so. Um, so you could build that, you know, X-Men guy. Um, they had some Justice League figures, some Star Wars stuff, wrestlers, um, and of course Ninja Turtles. So a uh, good section of Ninja Turtles actually. I'm about to show a picture of that. Um, I hope that you like these quick little videos about my store trips. And that I focus mostly on action figures and things of that nature. There's Dazzler for that other X-Men. Thanks for watching my videos. Like and subscribe if you like these videos. Have a great day.